What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Phil 34 and today I'm here with my reaction video to Community Season 2, Episode 16. How's it going, everybody? Last episode was the Valentine debacle with Britta <laughs> being Britta. There was a couple of other side plots with, like, Chang and Jeff sort of trying to room together, and then uh, Jeff realizing he loves his family. Let's see what this episode's got. So, as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, guys, in case you're interested in getting the full on raw reaction or more, then check out patreon.com slash roll34 in the description down below. With that being said, let's get into it, y'all. Yeet. That's H O H A W. Guys, what happened? Apparently, they found him unconscious on a park bench. Oh, oh they're God. continuing that. I always get surprised every time they continue a plot oh, there. That's just well, gonna happen from time to time. Friend. Say my final words to each of you. Final words? You're gonna kill us? No, dummy. The chills <laughs> wipe me out. Look, I'm sure he'll be fine. You know how dramatic Pierce gets. Remember when he had the hiccups and pulled the fire alarm? Let's just try to relax. He's here because we relax. I don't want Pierce to die. But if I'm gonna get bequeathed upon, I'd like to be bequeathed a drum kit or a signed photo of actor LeVar Burton. Those would be my top two wishes. My third wish would be a million wishes. But I'd just use them all on a million signed photos of actor LeVar Burton. We both know that you and I are the most hated in the group. We do? Huh? And since in my absence, you'll be the new black sheep, or uh, I'm sorry, that's offensive, a black swan. I want you to have this. It's a compact record, and it uh, contains an audio file of your study group talking about you while you're out of the room. It's all here. And burnt into this is sketch by optical laser. <laughs> oh, God, how bad is this? Smile you later. He said it's a recording of you all talking behind my back. That's ridiculous. That's what I told him, because you all don't do that, right? Uh -oh. Mr. Hawthorne is requesting sour face. <laughs> she just walks uh, in, she's like, I'm you, Death. Britta, you're the selfless one in the group, right? Wouldn't know. I haven't thought about myself in years. That's what makes you the perfect recipient of this bequeathment. It's a check for $10,000 with the payee line blank so that you can give it to the charity of your choice. Wow. Pierce, this is. This guy is evil. Surprising. After what you gave Shirley, we thought you were playing mind games. Thank you. Baited. Oh my gosh. Of course, if you're so inclined, you could always write your own name in there. This, this is like Saw in a hospital. He's playing games with them all. Too. Me and Ivan have an agreement. If one of us dies, we stage it to look like a suicide caused by the unjust cancellation of Firefly. We're gonna get that show back on the air, buddy. How'd it go? Isn't hey, Firefly a Josh Whedon show? To the charity of my Josh choice. Sweden's? He'd like to see Annie next. You know what? No. He'll see Jeff next. No, but you're not supposed to or go. Or what? You'll do twice as much work as a doctor for half the pay? Thank you. Call it compliment, salt, part compliment, part insult. He invented them. I coined the term. See what I just did there? That was an explana brag. Hello, Jeffrey. Pierce. <laughs> explana brag. Pierce. It's starting to seem, from observing the others, that you're using the social leverage afforded you by your alleged deathbed to exact complicated acts of psychological vengeance on those closest to you. Vengeance? Oh, no. I was never one to hold a grudge, Jeffrey. My father held grudges. I always hate him for that. Did you get along with your father? I got along without him. Oh, that's no good, Jeffrey. You don't want your dad to die before you tell him how you feel. I'm sure you're right. Look, let's nip this in the bud. Pierce. We're sorry we didn't respond quickly enough to your pill addiction. Is there any chance that apology is enough? Are you ready to be bequeathed upon, Jeff? <sighs> yeah. He's sticking his guns. I read him. I found your father. Did you know? William Winger, born Oklahoma City, 1945. 1974, married Doreen Fitzgerald, divorced in 1983. Most recently residing in Dorchester, currently sitting in a town car its way to this very hospital should be here in an hour or so give or take a father Is that it yep all right see you at the funeral <laughs> yeah that's and gonna so, get him you did his research and i don't care if pierce hired scotland yard he isn't gonna track him down from a hospital bed i mean money can't just make people appear excuse me i'm looking for troy barnes pierce hawthorne sent me That's crazy. Hey, Troy. Hi. I'm LeVar Burton. 
<laughs> Shake the hand, Troy. His reality shattered. That's so good. It's been in my family for six generations. Now it's yours. Wookie, what, what angle is this? Thank you. I'm going to... Is it TR? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but do you want to see him? No. Then why aren't you leaving? Because I don't care, and I'm not going to let him think that I care. Your dad or Pierce? There is no dad. Get this thing out of my face. And don't you dare intercut this with footage of me freaking out. So, do you go to school nearby? Oh well, my Troy, are no. you more familiar with me from Star Trek or Reading Rainbow? Take a look, it's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. Oh my gosh. That's serious though. I mean, imagine the disappointment of one of your idols and just them not either liking you or just completely messing up the first impression with you. I totally understand that feeling. And I could get why Troy would feel upset. I did it. Okay. I gave away the money. The Red Cross. You know what that makes me? A terrible person. Because if that camera wasn't on me, I would have taken that money right out of the mouths of crippled, starving, malaria-ridden refugee kids. And now I know that forever. Thanks, Pierce. Look at me, I've been giving all of you for the horrible thing. Oh, for sitting. crying out loud, oh. Oh, please, oh, please be something good. I don't want to listen to it. Oh, please, please be good. But wait. What is it, maybe... They were talking about the night she got super drunk and it was an after conversation? So, how much do we all hate Shirley? Here, knock it off. Hey, James Bond, stop trying to record us with that stupid spy pen. We can see the blinking light. Why do you keep trying to record us bad-mouthing each other? <laughs> because he thinks friendship is a competition, and he's always trying to get the upper hand. Think Shirley's any different? Yes. Uh, Hello. I guess we do owe you an apology, Shirley. We shouldn't oh, have wait. said those things about you. Oh, damn, never mind. So you found my father? Yes, he's on his way. I, I mean, if this is too much to handle, I completely understand, and I can call it off. Actually, I think I'm ready to see him. Good. Good for you. Oh, I should probably tell you. If you're lying to me, if my father isn't coming, if a car pulls up and anyone other than my father steps out, say an actor or you in a wig, if you try to pull any Ferris Bueller, Parent Trap, Three's Company, FX, FX2, The Deadly Art of Illusion bull I will beat you. And there will be nothing madcap or wacky about it. Understood? Crystal. That was incredibly serious. How much would it cost to change your flight till tomorrow? Is um, $261 enough? Because that's all I've got. That's all you've got? Yeah. <laughs> no, you you keep your money. I'll, I'll reschedule. Oh my god, thank you. He's going to be so happy. You know, <laughs> you are a very generous friend. But you're really stupid with your money. It's not that I'm selfish. It's just that I'm really stupid with my money, which is why I'll never have a lot of it. And because I'm a really generous friend. Problem solved. Dilemma deleted. Rid up for the win. Is his dad Bruce Willis? Hello? Jeffrey, this is your father. Uh-huh. It's me, here in the sedan. See, I'm way back. I'm sorry I can't come any closer, my boy. This is too difficult. You look too much like your mother. No, no, don't, don't come closer, as you were. Well, I'm... They're your true family now. God damn it, Chris. When you improvise a plan, Sometimes you hit a speed bump, and sometimes you hit it so hard that you soar through the air far beyond your initial expectations. 
I set out to take revenge on Jeff Winger, to scare him with the ghost of his father. Instead, I took over the role of his father, helped make him a better man. Why would you do something like this? Come on, Jeff. What? What? Because I'm sick of you people not taking me seriously. You forget my birthday. You don't invite me to your Dungeons and Dragons games or your secret trampoline. You guys think I'm some kind of a joke? Apparently, I need to say some things to my father. Things that I may have screamed at Pierce instead. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. But my father deserves it too. You're trying to show me the dangers of my own elitism. My constant striving to be the best. So... I'm requeeting this tiara. Because if I become the kind of person who thinks it's their place to pick favorites and torture the rest, I'll die sad and alone. And that's what you were trying to teach me. Sure, very good, Annie. You pass. <laughs> well, okay, what was the real reason? She's actually just my favorite. <laughs> So, I thought the documentary format would be like fish in a barrel, but as is the case with a real barrel of fish, after a while it can become cramped, chaotic, and stinky. Fortunately, if in the end your documentary is turning out just as messy as real life, you can always wrap it up with a series of random shots which when cut together under a generic voiceover, suggest a profound thematic connection. Jeff and I became kind of like father and son today. No, we did not. You beat your ass. <laughs> Troy, I am telling you, man, the salmon is really good. Does he still like it? Would you mind passing me the pepper? Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. <laughs> it's a nightmare. The reading rainbow. Well, <laughs> more fish for Kunta. And that was my reaction video to Community Season 2, Episode 16. Um, that was a solid episode of Community. Uh, I enjoyed the change up of format within the context of it being, you know, it was a progressive episode in terms of continuing on their development within the group in 